Virginia, Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears joins me now. Lieutenant Governor, great to have you. Why aren't Democrats learning the lessons of your victory last November? <laughs> you know, I don't know. We should ask them. But if they continue on the same course, they're going to lose in November. Uh, so they better start listening to parents because, you know, the children do belong to the parents, not the state. Interesting concept there, Lieutenant Governor. You, of course, ran on the same ticket with Governor Glenn Youngkin, now governor. And here's what his campaign communications director said about the Democratic strategy. It is such a great quote. It's the Terry McAuliffe strategy all over again. Now Democrats nationwide are running on the exact same platform. It's like they saw McAuliffe lose decisively in a state. Biden won by 10 points and thought, hold my beer. Lieutenant Governor, is this stubbornness? Is this stupidity? Why do Democrats refuse to acknowledge what parents want? I, it's a curious thing. I don't know. Uh, maybe they should hire me for their consultant. No, but seriously, the thing is, the parents have been saying all this time, we are the ones who will decide what our children should learn. And, you know, the, they, the powers that be keep pinning people against each other, the rich against the poor, you know, black against white, etc., in an effort to divide us so that, I don't know to what end, but it's not going to work because ultimately parents want to ensure that their children are learning. That's the whole thing. Are they learning? If they're not, then something needs to be done. And that's why we were elected last November, and that's the message that we're carrying. That's the laws that we're trying to pass. And, in fact, we got two bills through. The governor just signed them this week. One of them was that uh, the, the State Board of Education would convene a panel to include parents so that they can help make decisions about what their children are going to learn. And another one was that any sexually explicit material that are going to be provided to children, parents must be notified. I mean, imagine that this is what we have to come to. And by the way, this is not, again, against the rich and the poor and all that, because the rich have already made the decisions when it comes to their children. If they don't like what their children are learning, they pick them up and they put them somewhere else. It is those of us who don't have the means to move that our children are being subjected to this. And we're saying, no, we're not having it.